Smoke and flames filling a Rapid City apartment complex, leaving nearly a dozen people trapped inside with firefighters still on the way. This fire had a significant head start on us. Beating them to the scene were the next door neighbors at Collin Siding. It was quite an exciting morning. Gene Witkowski owns Collin Siding across the street. He and employee Jim McClendon saw the fire and jumped into action. We were looking for people that were in the building uh, from the rear unit, came to the front where there was a lady stranded on her deck. Uh, smoke was starting to come out. McLendon grabbed a ladder, propping it against the building to reach the people inside. She was an elderly lady, uh, and we had to get her up and over the railing, get her on a chair, climb on my back, and then bring her down safely. Quite literally, firemen carried her down the ladder prior to our arrival. Once firefighters arrived, the professionals took over the rescue effort, but for Witkowski and McLendon, their job wasn't done. A lot of them didn't, didn't even have shoes or jackets on. Uh, uh, all their possessions were in the building. So we opened up our facility, uh, made sure they had, uh, you know, warm coffee, drink, tea, uh, donuts, and relax. Uh, and then the other professionals could, you know, take it from there. Despite the heroics, Witkowski downplays the effort. We did, I think, what anybody would have done. I think it's just human nature of Jim and myself. Uh, that we would have reacted the way we reacted. It could have been our mother. The rescued people were able to stay at Collins siding until the Red Cross could take over the relief effort. Nick Reagan, Coda Territory News.